Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is about how the boundary tool can help you when you're contouring something. So we're just gonna the old way I and I still do it that way. I would left click, right click, make a boundary, contour it. But if you just take it like it is right now, and you go to contour, and if you'll just start dragging it out till you see that blue line touching all the other letters, and then go to object and break the contour apart. I've got my nudge factor set on 12 inches. I'm going to take the contour. I'm actually going to nudge it down a little bit more. But then you can left click, right click, and put that back. And there's your cut line. But you also have the interior parts of the letter that are cut. And if you don't want that, you can use the boundary tool. But the weld docker or the weld on the toolbar doesn't show up. But it is. It's still there. It just You need two objects for that to open. Let's just create two objects. And when we select them both, that comes up. But when you just have one object, that doesn't come up because it's part of the weld feature. And there's nothing for it to weld. But we can go to objects and shaping or shape, depending on yours, and go to boundary. And it put a boundary around that. And now I have no interior sections of that, of that word. I just have a solid. And if we made it yellow and put it back in and went to object and order and backup page, you can see what you're getting if that was the wood or whatever. It doesn't have that these interior parts that have all been taken out because you've used the boundary tool. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.